hello guys welcome back in this video like uh, we'll be working on uh, integrating a uh, para virtual uh, vmware para virtual uh, SCSI controller driver when when building a new building a new virtual machine so as discussed in our previous video like uh, uh, when uh, when you are going to build a vm with uh, uh, OS drive as well as uh, data drives with para virtual SCSI controller we need to integrate the driver when you build the VM so so that uh, whenever uh, uh, when you uninstall the VM tools in any any reason with any specific reason uh, so para virtual drive will be uh, driver will be available even though if you uninstall VMware tools and uh, when you reboot the server it won't go for uh, bsod or it won't uh, like uh, it should not give any problem while booting uh, so if SCSI control is para virtual uh, if you add the uh, para virtual SCSI control driver after you install os and uh, if you add the controller so in that scenario when you reboot uh, when you uninstall the vm tools uh, then the driver will be uh, gone from the VM from the operating system and uh, when you reboot the server OS drive will search for the driver and uh, it won't find the uh, uh, driver of the para virtual SCSI controller and uh, it won't boot up so to avoid that we will be uh, integrating the driver when we build the VM so in this video we'll be working on that so let's start that before that uh, like we need to download VMware tools from uh, from VMware site and uh, this is the file which I already downloaded so I have downloaded and uh, and extracted the files when you extract the files uh, you will be able to see an ISO like windows.iso file so we need to upload this to, uh, to your data store on the VMware so that uh, you need to mount the drive uh, ISO windows dot iso uh, file so that when the machine is getting boot uh, ins like when when the operating system is getting installed uh, 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 as it is a fresh uh, new build it won't find the driver so when you start the vm it will say that uh, no uh, no drive is found so at that time we need to select the para virtual SCSI control driver for that we will mounting this so we'll go ahead and start the pro lab so i just built a vm with uh, a plain vm without any os uh, so let me show the configuration so if you see here so though the name is 2019 it's a, i'm going to use the 2016 os so here i just given one cpu for memory 4 gb memory and 30 gb hard disk and if you see here a default it will it will show select a lsi sas uh, controller so lsi logic sas controller this one but i changed it to para virtual uh, for my uh, for my operating system drive that is c drive so here if you see we have mounted uh, added two cd rom drives Dra cd rom drive one is for operating system and the cd rom drive two is for uh, to mount uh, para virtual drive so if you go here uh, if you browse the drive cd-rom drive you'll be, you're able to see that uh, i already uh, uploaded that windows.iso file here so i just selected that click ok so it is mounted now so just click ok and uh, we'll go and uh, power on the machine
so now let me mount the OS drive or CD-ROM one so this is the 2016 OS operating system drive I just mounted it and uh, let's make sure it is mounted already mounted nice So it is booting from CD-RAM. So it's booting. So meanwhile, like we'll discuss why, why like uh, we are using para virtual. So para para virtual uh, SCSI controller uh, using para virtual controller the I O I O of the hard disk will be very high. So the performance of the disk uh, will be high. So uh, if you are you if you are uh, like uh, for uh, uh, SQL servers or any like any database servers, uh, the I O of that drives will be very high and uh, VMware has developed this para virtual drive for such scenarios so using the uh, disk with a uh, uh, non-OS disk that is data disk uh, if you use a para virtual the performance of the data for the I uh, of the disk will be good and uh, it's very high and IO IO performance will be good so that is the reason uh, in most of the production environments uh, we'll be using para virtual drives for non-OS disk but we can also use uh, for operating system disk but thing is like uh, VMware as per VMware recommendation we are not supposed to use the drive uh, para virtual SCSI controller for OS drives but we can use it but still uh, if you if you, you are into any issues you won't get support for that from VMware so that is the reason uh, most of the production environments uh, for non OS drives they will use the para virtual disk and uh, for OS drives uh, uh, they will be using a, a SAS drive so we will accept and it's select custom so here yeah. if you see here it says that we couldn't find any drive to get a storage driver click load click load driver so we need to click load driver and we need to browse and uh, we already mounted the windows iso uh, that is vm tools where uh, we need to browse to vma tools then drivers so pv scsi is nothing but para virtual scsi controller so in that uh, ours is uh, windows 2016 so we will be selecting windows 8 and AMD 64 for 64 bit and click OK so now uh, it's pointing to the driver driver is available now just click next so driver is getting installed so using this method uh, uh, even though if you uninstall VMware tools from the virtual machine for uh, for any case uh, VM will boot as the driver is integrated here so now we are able to see that drive is visible here so click next and uh, installation is started now so if driver is not available then obviously it will stuck up searching the drive so we are good till now here so installation will take some time I will pause the video and uh, once the installation is done uh, uh, we will we'll get back so let me pause the video now 
so yeah installation is almost done it had a couple of reboots so we'll put password Okay, VM is up now. So, if you see here, uh, like if you go to vCenter, still VM tools is not installed, and uh, we are able to see that the, the controller for the hard disk is uh, para virtual. So you see here the SCSI controller 0 is para virtual. So without PM tools uh, like if we if we try to if you try to change the SCSI controller from uh, LSI SAS to para virtual it will go to BSOD blue screen of death. So I have we have seen that in our previous video. So still uh, VMware tools is not installed and uh, we will install that so yeah this is what and you can also see the para virtual driver in uh, device manager so system is damn slow because it is having only 4 GB and uh, 1 CPU so let's try to look at the driver information So yeah, this is the basic uh, yeah overall steps to how to integrate a para virtual SCSI controller driver when uh, VM is getting built. So if you go here, if you go to storage controllers, you are able to see that driver is already installed. So yeah, so that's all for this video. But uh, yeah, still VMware doesn't recommend to use the OS drive. Uh, like para virtual controller for OS drive so if you are using it uh, mostly you won't get support from VMware if you have any issues uh, uh, related to this so make sure or you have to take the risk on yourself so that's all for this video thanks for watching bye bye